Would you say that you guys aim for like a house sound, a, spe a specific curve that you guys are shooting for when you design your speakers? We, not to, well, let me say it and you can decide how I come off when I say this. We sort of aim for a kef sound, which is a, a, a very um, sort of neutral sound. One, mm -hmm. of the, one of the things that when people hear kef for the first time, they don't actually like it too much because it um we don't overemphasize the bass whatever yeah. the mix engineer or the master engineer put there whether it's in a soundtrack or in, in a record or a song that's what we we aim to play back so we're very neutral that way uh it's a very unforgiving speaker in the sense that if you've got a bit which one of the great joys of my life is he listened to a bad recording on a really high-end system because you get to hear the, the things that aren't there that aren't supposed to be there or mistakes that are made um so no i we're, we're not really going after that overemphasized sort of bass sound uh it's a very neutral sound it's a very um what we're trying to do with our speakers is eliminate the speakers from your mind processing. So as you're listening from your audio reality, as you're listening to music, you're not aware of the speaker. You're not aware of the subwoofer. You're just aware of the sound. And if we were to overemphasize the bass or, or, or do some of the tricks that, that get done with bass, you know, uh, especially ported bass speakers and everything, then what you're really hearing is you're hearing our take on what the art, what the artist decided he wanted to do you're hearing our interpretation of that music and we don't want to do that we want you to hear uh precisely what the artist intended to to have you hear rather than what the engineers at kef felt that you should be hearing so that's that's kind of the long answer to that question